Hey guys, so I wanted to get on here. I was sitting outside last night talking with a guy named John. Runs around our wheelchair over here and uh, I was talking to him. And I was remembering how I was running for governor. And then of course, I, I wrote my name in on this uh, primary, but mm, wouldn't it be nice if I could actually win? <laughs> Then we'd actually have a politician that cares about the people. Uh, but me and him were talking, and I got to remembering all the stuff I was planning on doing with the, uh, the black communities. So for, like, the inner cities, like L.A. and stuff, I was planning on visiting them. Um, for instance, I was going to actually go through schools, fix the schools, but I was also going to... Uh, kind of uh work the police with the community policing style system so within like certain communities the police presence would pull back and work with those officers uh so this way the presence would be the police presence was in those communities would be controlled by basically Imagine a neighborhood watch, but better equipped and police response a little better. That's really what it would have been. It would have pulled the police presence back and it could start building relationships within those communities. Um, and then we were going to use some of the economic relocation zones we had. And uh, one of the economic relocation zones we were going to do we were going to dedicate to black owned businesses and then we wanted to give it uh, protections, state protections. Because here's the thing. We ba when we when we got rid of slavery, we basically just got rid of it, made everything equal and then said deal with it. And everybody can admit this that that wasn't right. That wasn't right. Yeah, there's some people that paid reparations, and you can go look it up. There's receipts. There's some, but I also you got to think about this. There's also a large majority of people that could not afford slaves. A large majority. Matter of fact, most Americans did not have slaves. Only the wealthiest did. And quite frankly, my family's mountain folk, so you know you can't really fault all the white people because honestly it was a select few more than anything uh, but that said I did come up with the solution the way we were going to do it we were going to dedicate an economic relocation zone to black owned businesses so it'd be managed by uh, the, the government's part of it would be managed through like the black chamber of commerce but it would be an only black owned business district that they could say is theirs and has all the protections. That would have been fair. That would have actually worked. And it would have allowed the black community to grow and prosper in a way that had never been done except for black Wall Street. And I figured, you know what? What's it going to cost us? A piece of land? What's that cost us? A piece of land? Not going to be paying a ton of money and a lot of people are not sure. We just give up a piece of land and this could solve so many issues. It could re-empower a complete community. That was why I was going to do the stuff I was going to do. I honestly just wanted to fight for the people. That's, that's what I wanted. Anyway, uh... I just wanted to put this up. Um, hope everyone has a good day. And, you know. Oh, yeah, and anyone caught on cannabis charges would have been coming out of prison through a new system that I developed on the prison system. Because uh, cannabis does not deserve to be in jail. Sorry. Not if alcohol and all this other stuff's going to be around. So, all right, that's it. I'm done. Getting too close to five minutes. Thank you.